He know he the king. Ooh, that's a good shot. All right, YouTube. I just thought of a piece of advice that I told these guys. They're here now. Um, they're cool. Um, if they watch my video, because they watch my video sometime, but they know I'm not gonna talk to them in the gym. And it's not, that's not what this video is about. But I'm just saying, it's some guys. This here is a group of guys, and they usually come give or take around the same time I do. All right. But this piece of advice that I gave them one time when they was deadlifting, um. I thought about it on my way here. I just made it to the gym. It's two o'clock a.m. on the dot, right? Right now, so I'm gonna go in there and instead of making this one of my short videos, one of my videos that I don't even, you know, show my lifting or whatever, I plan on, I'm gonna still do my shorts probably because I need to put the music to the video and I be listening to the music. The reason I be doing the music on the short videos is for one, the short videos gonna get more views. You know, the YouTube shorts, not the a video that's just short. No, the, the video is shot like this, that's short a minute or less, and you can put music on it or whatever. It's gonna get more views and it's gonna be more lit and it's gonna bring more people to the channel. But the piece of advice that I gave these guys uh, was you got to approach the bar like you're about to fight. It needs to be you against the bar, you versus you, and this and that and third. Um, but the biggest piece of the advice was because I had to sum it up because one of the guys said like he wasn't really understanding. He was hype. He was here. Yeah. And I was like, bro, you got the energy. You got the energy. You got the energy that it takes, right? But you're using the energy in the wrong way. You're using it externally on everything else besides the workout, bro. And he actually tries to work out. It's like, but when he tries to work out, he can't put his fully effort into it. I mean, because, and this is, this is something I've been noticing I've been doing lately too. Even though I've been, you know, pretty much doing my thing, but I could be doing much more. And this is something that I strive on doing, but I catch myself not doing it. And what that thing is, you got to bottle that energy up. Bottle it up. Mmm and use it on the bar all of it so all the times that i'm like this and that be happening and this and that and the third and da, 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 da. usually i do that after the workout is done and ruined or whatever but on the way here i was thinking about that type of stuff and it ain't even happened yet i'm pretty sure it happened what do i mean i'm trying not to really say it but i'm, I'm gonna say it because i say it too much People who talk too much in the gym and be in the way and interrupt your sets and, and try to talk to you when you're mainly in. People that don't lift don't don't understand. So I'm not going to keep talking about it. I'm about to go in there and, and go and work out. But I just wanted to give that tip and that piece of advice before I show y'all my lift. I'm going go in there and deadlift. I bench pressed yesterday. Um, I haven't squatted yet in a long time, but I'm not squatting at this gym. I'm gonna squat at the other gym where I can do it alone because I'm bringing my squat back and I need to, at least for the first three, four months to be able to squat in peace. I can bring back my squat, all right? The way I do it, my mindset, all right? Then I can do it whenever, you know what I'm saying? I need to lock that in, all right? I do not. I do not expect anybody to understand half of the stuff I be saying. Um, the only thing I need from you is to try to understand half of the stuff that I'm saying. A lot of this stuff is new ground to you, all right? I get it. You know, I was a beginner. I was a person who wasn't really pushing it back in the days. I was, a, I was, I was in the same boat. That's how I can help you get out of that boat because I was in the boat that you're in right now. That's why I always tell people, go in my comments, ask me questions. Ask me questions pertaining to where you're at right now, and I can give you my best, honest advice that I possibly can. Can I figure out your, your exact thing? Maybe, maybe not, but I will give it my best shot. That's what I'm here for. Um, I'm bringing my channel around full circle. Um, this channel has been a diet channel. My daughter's three. Let's see. Three plus a couple months. So she's three years old. My diet, my channel has been a diet channel since my, since my lady was pregnant with my daughter. 
So my diet, my channel has been, I said in the other video that my diet, my my channel has been a diet channel for two years. No, it's been a, ch a diet channel for probably almost four years. It wasn't supposed to be a diet channel. Now, for those who've been sticking with me and watching my channel this long, um, and probably got some great diet advice, hopefully I've helped you. I am not giving up on being a diet channel, but this is not a diet channel. This is a, what well, is, it is. It's a diet channel because it's been a diet channel. I've been on YouTube about five years, probably five and a half. I don't even know. So I'll go to my oldest videos and see from there. Look at the dates in the comments or whatever. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's been over five years though. It's probably been almost six years since I started my YouTube channel, right? But if you go back to my old videos, you will see that this channel was more a powerlifting channel, even though I've never competed. This has been, this was supposed to be more powerlifting style things. Then I wanted to get lean. I wanted to get ripped one year. And, uh, cause I haven't, let me see. What year was that when I started my channel? I've been lifting and getting ripped and cutting and bulking and all that for years. I've been doing it for over about a decade, probably about 12 years. So my channel was like somewhere past the second halfway mark of what I've done so far. So, um, so I've already, when I started my channel, I didn't just start working out. I didn't just start dieting. I did I already had knowledge and all this. And then the third, I increased that throughout the years though. But um, what I'm saying is, it's coming around full circle. I've done all the diet stuff. I've showed y'all how I bulk. I showed y'all how I cut. I showed y'all all this and all that. I showed y'all everything when it came to weight loss and weight gain pertaining to me, you know? And I even switched it up a few times. I switched up the way I dieted, um, a cleaner way, a dirtier way. Uh, more lean way, uh, um, easier way, harder way. Had to push it a few times, reaching my deadline. Is any way you can think of, I done done that in these last few years, right? So it made it look like my channel is a weight loss channel. It's not. It's a fitness channel. That's why it's called Wet Repping Time Fitness instead of Repping Time Bodybuilding or Repping Time Powerlifting or Repping Time Weight Loss or Repping Time. It's it's it's, it's everything. It's supposed to be everything. But I've been leaning more towards one thing. Even though I've been lifting and talking about lifting and this and that and third, I got to remember I'm a lifter first, all right? If I want my numbers to be where I want them to be, for those who don't know what numbers mean when it comes to lifting, is how much you can bench, squat, and deadlift, all right? So when it comes to powerlifting, all right? You got different lifts. You got Olympic lifts. You got strongman lifts. You got all kinds of different things, right? But when it comes to powerlifting, it's SBD. Squat, bench, deadlift, all right? So, out of the squat, bench, deadlift, my squat is pretty much non-existent. My deadlift is doing great, but I see potential for it to get at least another 100 and something pounds, probably, probably close to 200 pounds more than what I can have done if I just stop BSing, all right? My bench press should be able to come back and then go beyond where it was at my squat, even if it only gets back to where it was at my best, I'd be happy. But I, it's going to go beyond that too, all right? So what I'm saying is this, man. I need to bring back lifting. Everything, every little bit of energy that I'm spewing right now needs to... I got to go, go to the gym. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. It's, it's time. Watch my lifts.